let's talk about what does the seed represent and what does the soil represent so that we can have a clear understanding of how that, uh, how we can interpret that in our own lives when it comes to the gospel. Well, the seed obviously is the word of God. The soil, I think, is our hearts. And, and I think it's important to prepare our hearts to receive the, the word of God. And I find it interesting in this parable is he sowed on all types of soils. He did the stony, he did the, you know, the thorny. He did all types because you don't know where that, when that seed's gonna germinate and take off. And so I think we need to continually look at the soil that our hearts are. At times our hearts may be fertile ground, but other times it might be thorny or stony ground. And then we have to do things to fix that soil. Maybe he had be transplanted into good soil. Yeah, and I think that's a good point. I mean, sometimes we always have the tendency to say, like, who is the rocky ground, right? <laughs> or like, who is the thorny? No, it's about us oh, looking yeah. at our own hearts. Mm -hmm. And on, on one day or one week, I might go to church one week and, and I might be good ground. I go the next week, I'm, I'm rocky ground, or I've, I'm, I'm, I, I care too much about the, the things of the world, and so, I, so I'm kind of thorny that week. So it's all about looking inward. And I think as you look inward, then you know what you need to fix. How do I fix that soil? Do I need to move the rocks? Do I need to cultivate it a little bit?